The growing complaints over salary disparities in both public and private entities is propelling the recently created Equal Opportunities Commission into early action. The two-month-old commission says it is to conduct a study on salary disparities in government agencies with a view of eliminating discrimination and inequalities in the entities. Uh, we are just going to start the, 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 the research. We've heard about different issues, but at least we know that the different ministries, uh, government departments and agencies are not, they're not at the same level given the qualifications or given the posts. You find an executive director here or a PSC, they, are, they are getting different salaries. So we are going to make a report. We are going for a study within these 100 days and we shall come up with a report and recommendations. And maybe what are the challenges that bring up that? I, I'm sure most of you have heard KCCA executive director is getting this. NSSF executive director is getting this. Then the others getting lower. So we, we want to see what is that disparity and, and then we can give recommendations. The Commission members also noted the entrenchment of the problem in private bodies, noting that the body will be dealing with all forms of discrimination and imbalances. You have an issue of expatriates who are below the Ugandans in terms of structures in an organization, but earn more, you know, they earn more than the, the bosses, and it has been documented. So the Commission's uh, roadmap is quite appreciated, and to me and to the entire sector, this is the real value addition to what Ugandans have been waiting for, for such a long time. Also within the mainstream government, we have these disparities, but also within different sectors, civil society, private entities. A discrimination in salary, because you find some of the offices get so much that you find the support staff, for example, a driver, earning much more than a permanent secretary in the regular government scale. So we are trying to study that and advise government on what to do. This was during the launch of a toll-free helpline to be used by aggrieved parties. The launch comes on the heels of a damning report by Committee on Commissions, statutory authorities and state enterprises that showed regional imbalance in the awarding of top government enterprise jobs and an equally big disparity in salaries paid to top civil servants in the land. Malcolm Sime, NTV Business.